Hello my friends, today we are talking color grading and we will color grade using the Color Map X plugin for Photoshop. I've had this plugin now for a few years and I find myself using it all the time so I want to share with you. So if you feel like you need this then you have a better idea of what it's about. I believe it runs around $65, it's not a free plugin. And the way it works, it creates a palette of the colors from a picture, from a photo, and then it creates a gradient map that you can apply to another photo. I'm going to get straight to the examples so you understand it better. Over here, this is the interface of Color Map X. And I can choose how many samples to take from a photo. Like I can go up to 10 samples. For me, I like around five. Seems like that gives really good results. And let's see, I have these two images, this beautiful image and this beautiful image of the rocks. And let's say I want to take these warm colors from the rocks and apply them as a color grading on this picture. How would I go about that? Well, I'll turn off my picture and I'll go to the rock picture and I will just click this analyze button over here. And when I do that, it gives me this current palette of colors. This is the colors, the five colors it chose from this image. And if I want to save it, I can click on these little dots over here and I can save it as a preset. I can change some colors. If I don't like this color, I can just right click on it and I can edit it. I can replace it with a different color. I can shift colors, add it to swatches. I can do all kinds of things. I can delete that. But for now, I like it like this. So let's see, I'll go back to my image over here and with my image selected, now I'll go to these three dots and I'll say apply color grading and it's going to apply the color grading using these swatches, this palette over here. So let's see what it did. This was before and after and it already looks so much more rich and beautiful and full of color. That's the before and after and that's because I used a very warm uh, gradient map. You can see the gradient map right over here. What will happen if I use a cool gradient map? I'm going to delete this one and let's go. I have some presets over here, some gradients that I used in previous photos. Let's see. This one's a very blue one. So I'm going to apply that one. And now my color is, my picture is cooler. You see that? Gives it more contrast. It's cooler. Now, of course, this is a gradient map adjustment layer, so you can work with your blending modes as well. So you, this is a soft light. By default, it goes to soft light, but you can change it to up overlay if you want a little bit more dramatic, more contrast. Or you can go to multiply if you want to darken the image. You can go to screen. Screen will be very washed out. You can, you know, linear light. Let's see what linear light will do. Linear light. And then, of course, linear light works with fill, so you have to reduce the fill to, let's say, 9%. So that's before and after. Not bad. Let's do a couple of different images that, you know, we'll do a little bit of finessing and work in a different way. I'm going to have some portrait photos over here. And this photo, I really like the skin tones. It's like that sun kiss, golden skin tones. And I have a whole bunch of uh, other photos as I load them as layers. And let's say I want to apply that golden skin tone to all these photos. How will I go about that? I don't want to apply it to the whole image, just to the skin tones. So the way I would do that with my picture that I want to take the skin tones from, I will go to select color range. On to the color range dialog, we have this skin tone that we can choose. With the skin tone selected, now we can decrease or increase the fuzziness until we pick a good amount of the skin tone and not much else. So let's say for this image, let's say about this and then click OK. So now that I have the skin tone selected, I go back to the color map X and click Analyze. And it gives me this beautiful palette of the skin tones. I'm going to click Command D to deselect. And let's see how we can apply that to different images. Let's do this image first. 
Again, we only want to apply it to the skin tones, so we need to select the skin tones first. With the layer selected, we'll go to Select, Color Range, and this fuzziness is pretty good. We'll click OK. With the selection loaded, we'll go to these three dots over here on Color Map X and apply color grading. Wow, look at that. That's before and after. Before, after. So much richer. Let's take a different example. Let's take this one over here. We'll do the same thing. We'll select the color range to select the skin tones. We'll click OK. And with the skin tone selected, we'll go to our palette and say Apply Color Grading. And this is our results on this photo. Now let's see what happens if we apply it to the whole photo, not just the skin tones. So I have this image. I'll go to the three dots, apply color grading. And there you go. Now this is applied to the whole photo. So it goes to the hair and the background. And I think it looks pretty good. We'll do one more. Apply color grading. That one looks pretty good too. Before, after. Now let's do a different example and this time we'll do something different. Uh, let's see. Maybe I want to make a new skin tone. Maybe I like this photo over here. And I want to take the color grading from this photo and apply it to this photo. They're very different styles of photos. This one is so much lighter over here and blue toned and this one is just very warm and darker colors. So let's see, with this photo selected, I'll click Analyze. And it gives us our palette. Now we'll go to the target photo and we'll go to the three dots, apply color grading. And I like the results on the skin, but I wish it was dark all around it because this is a very bright image. So what I can do, I can duplicate this gradient map, Command-J to duplicate it. And then on the, I'm going to turn off the second one. And the first one, I'm going to change the blending mode from soft light. Overlay doesn't make much difference either, but I'll go to multiply. And now it looks great on the background, but I don't like it on the skin tone. So because it's an adjustment layer, it comes with a mask. So we'll take the mask and we'll take a brush, a very soft brush. And let's make it bigger and we can just paint on the skin. Of course, now it makes the skin way too bright for the image, but now we can go to our second one that is set on soft light and we'll inverse the mask with command A. And now we'll paint with white on a black mask, X to change between the colors. And now we're playing the skin with soft light. So let's see, this was our before and after. Before and after. I think I went a little bit uh, too far here on the blouse. Yeah, you can make a better selection with your brush there. No, that's too much. All right, and that's how you use Color Maps X. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing, and I'll see you in my next video.